Today we are considering uh, Majority Whip Tom Emmer's H.R. 5403, the CBDC Anti-Surveillance State Act. This bill is straightforward. It halts unelected bureaucrats from issuing a central bank digital currency, or CBDC. Uh, we believe that a central bank digital currency would be detrimental to Americans' rights to financial privacy. Uh, we've previously seen examples of government, uh, the government and governments around the world weaponizing uh, the financial system against uh, their own citizens. For example, the Chinese Communist Party used a central bank digital currency to track spending habits of its citizens. This day is being used to create a social credit system that rewards or punishes people based on their behavior. This type of financial surveillance has no place in the United States. After all, we have the Bill of Rights, and they do not. Uh, concerningly, it appears that the current administration does not agree that financial sur surveillance has no place in the United States. In 2022, the White House issued an executive order pushing for CBDC research and development. The corresponding report uh, responded uh, the corresponding report uh, and the data of, uh, related to the executive order the president issued as nothing, uh, it does nothing to ease the concerns about uh, financial snooping um, on citizens. This is why the CBDC Anti-Surveillance State Act is necessary. The bill requires authorizing legislation from Congress for the issuance of any central bank digital currency ensuring that it must reflect American values and civil liberties protections. If not open, permissionless, and private, a central bank digital currency is no more than a CCP-style surveillance tool waiting to be weaponized. I want to thank my friend Whip Emmer for his work on spearheading this legislation, along with Representatives Hill and Mooney uh, for their leadership on this issue. I'd uh, also like to thank Representative Davidson for his commitment to financial privacy uh, in, a, in, a, in a larger context. I urge my colleagues to support this common sense legislation and I reserve the balance of my time.